Welcome. I'm David. I'm Lindsay. And, and this, this is Dutchman Stonders. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to this month's Banners for Adoration. At this one, we're talking about caravan, motorhome, campervan, etiquette. Now, most people are going to be talking about uh, site etiquette and road etiquette, but we've decided, to, as we spend most of our time off grid, off site, to talk about the uh, etiquette of parking up. There'll be a whole bunch of people taking part. And their information is probably going to be popping up there right now. And we'll tell you more about them at the end. Okay. If it seems like there are too many vans at a spot you could park up, then there probably are. You don't really want to be parking somewhere where there's already a lot of vans and possibly hacking off the locals. Lindsay. As you may or may not know, every time we go away, we have at least two backups to any park up that we go to. So for that very reason, one car park might be, you know, not pleasant. It might be full. Don't hack off the locals because the park ups all get lost. You are not on a campsite once you get parked up. So, when you finish work, put your stuff away. Camping activity, i.e. setting up the pitch, is just not part of what we do. And you're, again, going to hack off the locals. Is it? We've seen people leaving their barbecues, their chairs, their awnings out. I mean, come on people, it's a park up. It's a car park. You don't do that. So... You know, if you're going to use the stuff, put it away, or the next morning when you wake up, you'll be whinging like Billy or if somebody's come along and nicked it. So, you know, be sensible, peeps. Keep space where possible. And by this I mean space between the parked up vans. It's what? The locals can get a car in there. So, tend not to hack off. What do you think? That's about it. You know, there's nothing else to say. Be sensible. Don't outstay your welcome and pack off the locals. You might have the prime spot wherever.com. But if you're parked in a spot where the locals like to come, like to visit, and you're there for weeks on end, believe me, I know people who have done that. And lo and behold, when they came back, there were height barriers up. What can I say? Don't outstay your welcome. The longest we've ever stayed anywhere is five nights. And even that is at a push. We normally don't stay more than three or four. But, you know, be sensible. Like I said, it's all to the enjoyment for other people. Don't hold the spaces. Don't stay too long and let somebody else enjoy the same views and vistas. And one, which you'll be seeing in a few minutes, I hope, take nothing but memories. Leave nothing but facts. This one should be common sense. I'm fed up filming Lindsay, picking up after other people when we're on park ups. What do you think? Yeah, well, it comes and goes, you know. I can't, I can't leave a site in a bad state. I want to make it better, and then sometimes it gets remarked upon, sometimes it doesn't. But I don't want to be the one blamed for leaving rubbish behind, because we don't. Nine times out of ten, even on a fortnight's holiday, I end up taking the rubbish home unless I can find a bin somewhere so where I can put it in and know that I'm not going to upset anybody else doing it. Oh. And just before I do the outro, we have one more. It didn't appear in our five that we've just done, but it's number six. Wave to each other on the road. 
motorhomes, campervans, whatever. Normally, we have a, a high success rate, 95% plus in the winter. In the summer, not so much. Not so much, especially higher vans. They're out and supposed to be out enjoying themselves. Perhaps it's how much it costs them to hire the van. This is yours, Lindsay. Yeah, miserable old so and so. Nah, it's just we wave. Although, do be careful because I have almost the full set of Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Iceland, you name it. I've waved at them thinking they're mortal arms when they're coming along the road. I don't mind. Sometimes you get a confused wave back, sometimes you get a giggle, and sometimes you get a scowl. But hey, you know, it's all part and parcel. And on that, of course, there is the, the various waves, etc., you get back from drivers <laughs> on their first trip to Scotland. That's it. Finger comes off the steering wheel. That's to be it. The knuckles whiten. That's another one. But mostly you get the full blown wave. And that's me when being goodbye. <laughs> now, those names are going to be going past again. Please watch the playlist, which you can access at the end of the video. It'll be up here as a card. And also, it's down below with all the other people taking part in this month's Banners collaboration. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching Desmond's Donders. And whatever you're doing in the countryside, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of our future videos.